Hi everyone, my name is Scott Legere Horn and this is The Short Call. Let's make learning music a little bit easier. There are no such things as alternate fingerings on the French horn. That might sound like a provocative statement, but hear me out. Sure, the fingerings listed in the standard fingering charts are gonna work for 90% of horn playing, but with so many options for fourth line D, for example, you can't tell me that only one is correct. There are two reasons to use non-standard fingerings, either for sound or intonation. So let's start with intonation. I talk about this all the time, but all brass instruments, especially the French horn, operate using the natural harmonic series to move up and down the entire range of the instrument. The double horn has 14 valve combinations which overlap to give it a fully chromatic set of 12 harmonic series. If we treat each harmonic as a unique note, that means the double horn can produce well over 200 individual notes across its range. Take that, pianist, in your meager 88 keys. Okay, so obviously some of those fingerings are practically useless and many of them are more or less identical. But because the horn operates this way, it's perfect for playing with just intonation. For example, the fifth harmonic is much more suited to playing the major third of a chord without having to bend the pitch down or changing your hand position. So if you're playing in the key of concert F, the open F horn is perfect for first line E, but if you're playing in the key of concert A, you should probably use the B flat horn instead. Equally important though is that each fingering has its own unique sound. Using the F horn on the 8th and 9th harmonics can create a veiled and ghostly soft sound that is much easier to blend with woodwinds and strings. Using the B flat horn on the 2nd and 3rd harmonics however can create a bright and poppy sound that is perfect for playing the upbeats in a Sousa march. And I've already talked about this on the short call before, but using the 3rd valve instead of the 1st and 2nd valves together can avoid awkward cross fingerings and create a much smoother half step slur. So really there aren't any alternate fingerings because each fingering contains its own unique tone and temperament. You'll probably be fine using standard fingerings for most horn playing, but understanding how the instrument works and using these non-standard fingerings will make some music a lot easier to play. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and follow Scott Legier Horn for more tips and tricks to make your life playing the French horn a little bit easier. Happy practicing!